All right, episode number five, Year of Adventure, episode number five. And what we're doing this time is we're headed all the way down to Crater Lake, Oregon. And I'm very excited for this. Never really been to Oregon. I'm gonna be all the way on the western side of Oregon, so I've, 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 it's all new territory. I've never been there. But from Bozeman, Montana, where I live, it's like a 13 hour drive. So we had two choices. We could either deadhead it or we could have some fun along the way. And you know me, I don't like to deadhead anything. <laughs> so I got a special place for you. Let's get into it right now. All right, so where we are today is a place called Nimrod Springs in western central Montana. Uh, it's a place that doesn't look that spectacular from the outskirts. It's right on the side of the highway. The highway is over the edge of this right here. That's highway, oh gosh, I can't remember the highway name, 95 I think. And the prettiest spot is right here where you have all of this. It is just epic here really cool but we're not here for the waterfall we're here for a secret that only a few people know about in this place there's an underwater cave in the spring down here it scares a lot of people off because there's a lot of algae and stuff that grows in this water but if you're willing to look for it and willing to brave the cold the water is cold <laughs> you can get treated with this awesome underwater cave and i'm going to take you in there right now so I'm actually really surprised to find the water isn't near as bad as I thought it was gonna be. But this is my first swim of the year. Oh boy. So the cave is right down under here. Let's go check it out. anything in here we just made it you can see there's like light coming in from down here it <laughs> doesn't illuminate hardly anything in this cave though just awesome man i'll tell you what is really scary when you come in here and there's other people just sitting up there looking like aliens from xenomorph from xenomorph from alien <laughs> but this place is pretty awesome I'll bring a flashlight in next time so you guys can see more of it. But right now, I'm gonna enjoy my time. The water is actually pretty awesome. <laughs> oh, this place is so cool. So this is just stop number one. We still got a long ways of driving left to go. All the way down to Crater Lake, we got friends coming. I'm gonna make them YouTube famous thanks to you guys, so thank you. Uh, and what we're gonna do is also hit another hot spring tomorrow morning called Jerry Johnson or uh, maybe Weir Hot Springs. There's three hot springs on this little Highway 12. I'm gonna show you at least one of them when I wake up tomorrow morning. See you then. Good morning from central northern Idaho, I guess. This is the trailhead to Jerry Johnson Hot Springs. Here we are, check out the river. We are miles away from civilization right now. It's about a 90 minute drive here from the nearest city, which means just all around us is pretty endless forest right now. And it's amazing. <laughs> I slept so well last night. I'm a firm believer that you can tell how well someone slept by how well their hair looks the next morning. And mine looks just beautiful. So. <laughs> Uh, but I needed to sleep last night for sure. So these hot springs are actually, they're not civilized, they're, they're not built up around, I guess. These are just like a little hole in the woods where you go, you get to hang out in the hot water with a couple other hippies that head, head out here with you. So I'll show you that. I'm gonna go dunk my head in the water though. Jerry Johnson Hot Springs, here we come. We've made it. 
these are the hot springs right here this place is just epic let me show you let me show you as we get closer but the water is so warm so check this out This is the place. We have finally made it to Jerry Johnson Hot Springs. It's the place of myth and legend and so much fun. I used to come here as a college kid when I was growing up and I would take my friends out here. This was the place that we always went and it was it's just magical. There's three more, there's, there's two more hot springs on this highway, Jerry Johnson, Weir Hot Springs and Stanley. I'll have to show you those other two on another trip because they are awesome. One of the traditions we do whenever we come to Jerry Johnson is there's the Raging River right over here. Right over here. And you can never leave Jerry Johnson without taking a dunk in the freezing cold snow runoff river before you leave because this water is so warm. I wish you could feel how warm the water is, but it's a great place. It's a great place. So welcome to one of the best places. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a hot spring trip unless we jump in the cold water. Let's go. Check this out. Looks like the inside of a tree. This is so cool. <laughs> that does it for a great soak at Jerry Johnson Hot Springs though. This place is awesome. Today, we're driving the rest of the way to Newburgh, Oregon, where I'm gonna meet an old friend before we drive down to Crater Lake. Uh, it's probably tomorrow-ish, tomorrow or sometime later this week, but it's gonna be great. Got a lot of driving to do today, so that does it for part one of this video. Over. Go out and adventure. It's always worth it. Hey! <laughs> I can park in there? Oh, I'll grab my car for sure then, bro. Give me a hug. <laughs> oh, you look good. I like the hair. You feel like it alright? beard. Oh, bro, I'm working on this so hard right now. It's like, you're dressed <laughs> dapper too, man. Gosh, dude. <laughs> this is Jake. What's up, guys? Hey, hey. Uh, nice pleasure to meet you. Nice James? You. Yeah. Pleasure, man. What's your hey, name? Hey, Melanie. Melanie? Mel okay. Good to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, too. Oh, God, oh, yeah, this is so cool to so meet I know. Thank you. All good things. Thank you. <laughs> So you can say hi right now if you want. Hello right now. And this I is, want this to. is Spencer. <laughs> I, I <laughs> Spencer. What do you think of that? What do you think of the pizza that we just got, man? The pizza was phenomenal. Which one was better? You got that? Yeah. I can't. Yeah. yeah. We got a honey glazed pizza with like Italian sausage and a mushroom one as well. So I think they were both question. good. They had unique flavors. The 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 mushroom one had truffles on it, the truffles Ooh. and um, a little bit of honey sauce. How did they make you feel? Did they enlighten you a little bit? Did they they made me feel really good. It made me feel full, made me feel at home. Hey, there yeah. we go, that's what we wanted to hear. <laughs> Look, we got a philosopher stare over here <laughs> looking at. <laughs> we just got pizza time. It's pizza time right now. This is Mel, this is James. Hi, Hello, guys. GoPro. So here's oh, our Italian, see. yeah? <laughs> you can just with your mouth those. open right now. If you're gonna do it at any time, this is the time to do it. <laughs> no. Okay. All right, this is the number one. We got the Italian, and then we got this one that has ricotta cheese on it. They're all honey glazed. We had to get them, because they're like honey pizzas. We never had honey pizzas before. Still a little ways till we leave to Crater Lake, Oregon, with this guy, and we are so excited. But, we'll see you then. So here we are, we are at Oasis Cannabis. Woo! I have, <laughs> with this guy. I have never been to a dispensary. I've never smoked. Mask, so. 
Don't think I ever will smoke. I will get a mask though, but I've never been, so it's like a new experience that I want to try out. We're gonna go inside. What I found out is that bongs, bongs are pretty freaking ingenious, like how people make those things. Guy has a lot of them. And what are you, a dab? I say the other dab, dab machine, yeah. a dab rig. I think it was pretty cool, but wild, wild. So we're gonna go outside, check them out. I do gotta give them, give them props. Like, look how pretty this stuff is. Kind of cool. Okay, so that was the shortest visit ever. The smell is like makes me sick. Probably not an awful smell for everybody, but oh, oh, it makes me feel like I don't know, like just kind of like poisoned when I smell too much weed in one spot. So that's no thank you, no thanks for me. But there it is. I've been to a dispensary now. Not not a place I ever want to go back. <laughs> it's finally the day. We're leaving the Crater Lake just today. And I want to show you something real quick before we go. First, it's the perfect day to go on an adventure. But these flowers have already bloomed. Look at what time it is. They look unreal. They're like, it's like, good morning, beautiful. It's a good sign. I'm going to take that as good luck. The flowers are with us today. Time for an adventure. Made it to Crater Lake-ish area, Oregon-ish. I'm so excited. So apparently, I'm hoping that we start going, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, he's not gonna kick me off the back of his car. Here we are, Oregon. <laughs> Look how pretty it all is. It's like, ah. Oh. Oh. <sighs> There's something about the simple happinesses in life. There's, there's the happiness that you get from accomplishment. There's the happiness that you get from working hard. There's the happiness you get from, um, from luck. And there's the happiness you get from just learning to live. This is it. This is one of those moments. Happy. Check this out. The pow. <laughs> Woo I'm barefoot in the snow, so let me start walking with you. I'm walking with you guys. This is Crater Lake, Oregon. 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 And I've wanted to go here for so, so, so long place is I don't, I don't know why it's just so magical let me get a different angle for you real quick okay look like <laughs> here's the place a lot of people here a lot of tourists we know exactly why the place is awesome So the story of Crater Lake goes that who knows how many tens of thousands of years ago, the volcano blew right here, made the place Crater Lake. Left this huge gap and it's since an inactive volcano now. And now it's just filled with water. And it's created one of the few, like it's called a closed ecosystem. There's very few things that exist within this ecosystem that have evolved here in this beautiful place. So because of that, it's a very fragile ecosystem. There's very little input into it. So that means whatever output you take out of it, like whenever you uh, accidentally damage an, uh, an organism here, or you interact with the water, the water chemistry, it really, really messes with the actual ecosystem that's, act that's in here. And it's a fascinating concept. I guess the whole world you could argue is a closed ecosystem because we're like in space, but this is a very small, small ecosystem that scientists have tried very, very hard to protect. It's absolutely fantastic though. <laughs> Check it out. 
Oh my gosh, dude. Just really marvelous. I can only walk for so long barefoot in the snow, but it's worth it to just look at this place. There is wonder left in the world. This is why we adventure. That feeling right there, just we're here. Freaking made it. Okay, so next stop, next stop we got here is we have a potential surprise for you tomorrow morning. I'm not gonna tell you about just yet, just in case it does not happen, but we're leaving tomorrow. We got a campground. We gotta go back and set up. Gonna try to start a fire for the first time with flint and steel tonight. <laughs> and we got marshmallows and s'mores and hot dogs and sausages, hamburgers, all sorts of stuff to just feast tonight and enjoy our night in Oregon and think about and contemplate what the meaning of life is now that we've seen something so magnificent, such as Crater Freaking Lake. Okay, we're trying something we've never done before and we're trying to start a fire using flint and steel. But it won't go ahead catch. and try it real quick. We just can't get this little old man's beard to catch. We know it burns when we use the lighter, but we can't get it to catch with this yet. So we're trying different stuff. All right, we've been trying this for like maybe 10 minutes now, and we just cannot get this freaking spark to start on it. And look how many there are. Oh, okay. So we're gonna keep working on that, but we're actually gonna start a fire just mm -hmm. so we have food to eat tonight. Don't worry, Spencer, we have food to eat. Tonight. I'm not too disappointed, but it is a, it is <laughs> a hard feat to accomplish, so. Man, I want to so bad. We're gonna get that, we're gonna get that, but we'll start actually a real fire right now. All right, so we didn't get the fire started through the flint and steel, but we do have a somewhat fire now. That's a bonus. I'm gonna keep trying the flint and steel. Now we get to have s'mores and the smoke hurts. <laughs> We're getting ready to go to bed right now. We're going hammock style tonight. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like so much like that. <laughs> you got to set it up. One side's got to be a little higher than the other, just like I got mine. Check this out. It's like those pods from Avatar, bro. You remember when like Natiri or whatever her face is gets into that thing and she goes like, wah, 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 wah. Yeah. Wah. yeah. <laughs> This is them, bro. These things are kind of weird. Keep it rolling, right? Ryan. Keep it rolling. Doesn't it? If they feel I can good. Kick you. <laughs> they feel good. Give me a little rock and rock, rock of life. <laughs> I'm gonna stop halfway. I need a breather. <laughs> so it's time to unveil what our surprise is. Our surprise is that we are here at Awesome Skydiving, about to <laughs> skydive for this guy's first time ever. I've done Ooh. I've done it once before, and I didn't ever want to do it again, but. Here I am, I guess. Here we go. <laughs> we'll try our best. We'll try. <laughs> no, no guarantee. <laughs> okay. Woo, here Just, uh, we Say your goodbyes go. to everybody. Oh, oh that? <laughs> that's, that's a vote of confidence from the guy Ooh. taking his skydiving right there. It was like I was dying for a couple seconds. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, amazing, yeah. but it was like, oh, oh, no, that was just, that was just, oh man. It's, it's nerve-wracking at first. The, the feeling of the body. And the I saw you come down. Yeah, <laughs> it was like. Uh, but once he pulls the parachute, oh my gosh, I could stay up there all day and just soak in so beautiful. Woo! Yeah, but that yeah. first initial when you come up to the door and you're putting your feet out and you're about to jump. Yeah. Yeah, you're in <laughs> But it's great. Uh -huh. We we'll love it. <laughs> Okay, we're getting the walkthrough from the matriarch of the skydiving list. Here we go. Morning. <laughs> Um, yeah, this is what I do in retirement. Isn't that fun? This is so cool. So, it's so cool. Packing that, and that's going to be mostly covered with shit there hanging out. We'll get those on you in a minute. All right. So, like I said, um, <laughs> I think I'm going to get this stuff on it. Don't step right. on a parachute. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I have to get the ball. I mean, we just leave the ball forever. <laughs> I 
I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Is it water? It's like beer right? It's ice cold. 15. That is cool. 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 Okay, so I'm all strapped in now. We're all ready to go. My man is just getting ready to get strapped up right now as well. I'm not actually even feeling that nervous yet. I don't know why. I think it's gonna hit me in like 30 seconds. But how you I'm feeling? Calm at the second, but also like I know. I'm yeah. I think we've got like 15, 20 minutes, and then we're gonna be 10,000 feet in the air, which is pretty crazy. Pretty crazy, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey Jake, what's up dude? What are you doing today? Hey. Oh, I'm feeling great. I'm going skydiving. Yeah, yeah, going no, skydiving. no big deal. Yeah. Well, check it out. We got y'all harnessed up. We're waiting on the airplane to come back. When that guy comes back, we're going to load in it. We're going to fly up. We're going to step out. We're going to land safely back on the ground. How's that sound? I mean, you were kind of talking about drinking tequila before we started, so we'll see how safe we go. But... Uh, what is that? No, it wasn't. That was <laughs> no, vodka. That was vodka. <laughs> I'm sorry. My bad. My bad. Uh, we're feeling good. We're All feeling right, Jake. Good. Let's go have a good time, man. This guy's great. <laughs> Close till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, No, I don't wanna waste what's left And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways To my shadow Turns the sun rays And on and on We'll go Through the wastelands Through the highways And on and on We'll go on the ground. How was that? Oh my gosh, bro. Thank you. Man. Thank you. You made it so awesome. You think you'll do it so again? Awesome. I think I will. You Very inspired cool. me for sure. Very cool. All right, we'll see you next week for your next job. Go <laughs> skydive awesome. <laughs> we fucking did it, dude. Woo! <laughs> Good. It was, oh my gosh, unreal, unreal. It was pretty crazy, There's guys. nothing like that. Pretty crazy. So we just finished our first jump with together. It was so good. There's literally nothing like that in the whole world. I told you. Like, I was so petrified going up. I'm, I'm in the plane and I'm like, 
I get my feet, I put them on the thing, and like that was the worst. It's just the wind catching your foot at first. But when we jumped and tumbled, it just felt like, um, like uh, crazy, but right. Yeah. Like, I don't know, it just felt okay. We've done some like jumping off of stuff, and like it reminded me of a backflip where it's like scary because you can't see, but you can kind of feel that your rotation's right. Oh my goodness, dude. <laughs> and you can feel when you get belly to earth, you mm -hmm. can feel like mm -hmm. slipping into comfort zone. Yeah. And then you're like, oh, oh I just want to go fast. I'm like, I want to go faster. Like, oh my god. I want to go faster. Are you, are you looking up or are you looking down? Straight down. Yeah. Just like, <laughs> he asked, he's like, you want to try it? And I went, oh, oh it kind of hurt, not gonna lie. Uh, <laughs> oh you were one of my favorite parts about skydiving, too. You were like the most friendly person. Aww. You like welcomed us in. <laughs> well, Thank back. you so come much. I appreciate that. Angel. 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 Jacob. Nice, nice to meet you. you. <laughs> and you're, what's Jake. It's uh, hard to remember. Yeah. Jacob, Jacob and Jake. Jake. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. Thank okay. you so much. So how was yours? Second time for me. Second time for me. And I was just worried about him for most of the time. After I jumped out, though, it was like you forgot everything. Yeah. It's like immediate second, presence. The second I'm out, I'm like, immediate. okay, final for number two, right? That to do. Like, like, <laughs> oh. That was so amazing. Thank you so much. Oh. You're just awesome. You're oh, awesome. You're oh. awesome. Thank you. <laughs> All right, we just finished skydiving, and now we're rewarding ourselves. So this is a raspberry roulade, 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 something like that. Very excited for this one. And then this is the old classic, this is the eclair right here. So I'm going to start with the eclair, bro. You start with that one. And we'll see how we, we get do. like a fork. No, nah, man. Nah, we just dive right into this. Oh, it's chilled too. <laughs> oh my God. Oh man. Oh okay, switch me around. Switch me around. That is epic. Mm. Oh. Mm. Shout out to the Sparrow Bakery. Oh my gosh. That that's pantry level, if not above, man. That's the that might be the best. Mm. That's one of the best pastries I've ever gotten. Worth every bit of the five dollars. Mm. Sparrow Bakery. Check it out. We're back. Oh, no. Another day. It was just for the smorgasbord of treats. Right here. These oh, are apparently the star. <laughs> These ocean rolls are phenomenal. How's everybody feeling on vacation right now? Feeling good. Anyone have things? Good. Yeah? Having a good time. Happy to be here still? Honestly, super great we can do this. I didn't mm -hmm. cry myself to sleep last night, so Only a little bit. more than twice. <laughs> we we cuddled, but it was fine. Thank you, dude. Vacation is the way to go. All right, I'm gonna dive in. Peace. All right, so we're here at Newberry National Volcanic Monument. Sun Lava Trail. This is like the first real hike I've actually got to do on Year of Adventure number five down here in Crater Lake, Oregon. Crater Lake you drive right up to. We've been camping the whole time. We went skydiving just the other day. Now we actually get the chance to hike. It's not my favorite option because it is actually a paved road. It apparently goes on for like four miles. It's a great biking trail. Not the best hiking trail. But so, I'm not really sure what to expect just yet. But the place looks pretty cool. You can barely see a little volcano looking area through there. Should be fun. See you up there. We're struggling a little bit with the last section. Un mm, poquito. Oh. A little bit. <laughs> Worth it though. Worth it. All the sweat, all the tears. Here we go. Oh. Okay, one, two, three. Oh! oh! Yeah. Woo! Yeah. We did it. Okay, so we are downtown Bend, Oregon now. Finally going to get dinner. Very hungry. Go for a big hike today. And I haven't been super impressed with Bend so far, but. Downtown is pretty cool. So we'll see how good the food is. First restaurant. Ooh. Here we go. You guys are outside or inside? Outside, outside. if possible. Yeah. Homemade alcohol. Cool place. We can walk around.
Yeah. And this way here is like 35 minutes. Yeah, it's, uh, it's really inconvenient, um, and I'm really hungry, um, and the weather is honestly too sunny outside. So they're making us wait outside for 35 minutes for our food. What the fuck, bro? Yeah. What the fuck? That's ridiculous. Never been treated worse in my life. Inconsiderate. This is a lawsuit if I've ever smelled like that. It's not that bad. It's okay. <laughs> Our camera as well, if you want. Like, how, what, do you feel good about the food you serve us? I love it. Yeah. Okay. All right. I just want to make sure you can sit in there. <laughs> <laughs> so relaxed. Okay. So do you feel good here's what we got. We are in Bend, Oregon, right now. He's making fun of me. It's okay. <laughs> we're in Bend, Oregon, right now. Where we just ordered the elk burger, so we're gonna take the first bite today, just to see how it tastes. This is ripping. Oh my goodness. behind the camera that is filming right on made a great decision. Good choice. We're at the place that we came to right on. You can introduce yourself if you want, man. Good choice. Hello. The guy. I decided to eat here. <laughs> this guy has like planned our entire trip, made everything so much easier. Big thank you to him. And now I get to really enjoy this out because of it. You want to show him the spread real quick, everything we got? Pizzas, all sorts of stuff. James, thanks so much for filming, guys. We're going to enjoy our food. Peace. It's time to go to bed. It's what our third day out here. We left on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Today is Monday. Uh, tomorrow we're going home. And I think I'm getting like a little sick. I think the altitude sickness, honestly, from skydiving uh, affected me a little more than I thought it did to start with. So I'm feeling a little out of it for sure right now. When we go to bed, hopefully I'll feel better in the morning. And I get to head back to their place. We'll drop them all off and I'll get to continue the rest of this year adventure, which will mostly just be a dead head straight back to Bozeman, Montana. I'll make sure to clue you in if anything really cool happens, but that'll be the official end of this video right now, plus maybe a few bonus scenes in the next. So that does it for right now. Thank you for joining me on year of adventure number five number five pretty crazy we're almost done with this year of adventure challenge which is crazy i wasn't had no idea we were gonna do it so fast it's so exciting but if you like this stuff make sure to like subscribe to this youtube channel helps me out helps me grow helps me reach more people helps me inspire more people to travel because that's the whole point of this thing is just to give everybody watching you and everybody else an opportunity to live and see and uh, experience how much fun travel is and hopefully inspire you to get out there and do a little bit of traveling of your own love you for watching this thank you good night to you All right, so you should only be watching this video if you watch the very end of the YouTube video. Uh, we're at the Blue Pools in Oregon right now. I wanted to film this for you as a bit of a bonus, a bit of a bonus, and share one of my biggest pieces of advice at this Blue Pool, is when you do things that most people don't do, there's a certain amount of uh, success that you have that most people don't do. I'm not the most successful person on the planet, but I am a happy person. I think that's something a lot of people are struggling with. One of my big things that I do right, is just do things that most people don't do. And this is one of them, so let's dive in. One step closer to greatness, baby. <laughs> or at least that's what I tell myself. Let's go. Thanks for joining me. I'm closing out right there. Peace.